Have you ever felt like this? Uh, total utter frustration and trying to get into your BIOS. This is one of the problems I had trying to fix my uh, power drain issue. If you have fast boot on, you're not going to be able to do the conventional method of pushing the shortcut key to get into your BIOS. So I'm going to show you a couple of different methods. One is the actual physical method uh, for my particular PC uh, tablet, which should work with uh, a lot of the uh, tablet PCs, but uh, check with your manufacturer to actually see uh, if the same method applies to you. Another method is through the Windows 10 operating system which should work uh, th with all the manufacturers. Uh, so stick around to the end of the video if you want to know how to uh, go into your BIOS using the physical method and also if you want to know how to disable the fast boot which will allow you to uh, use the shortcut key commands first part is going to be on how I diagnosed and actually solved the uh, power drain issue. So go ahead and watch the video and if you find this video helpful in any way go ahead and push the like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay, thanks. Okay, I'm gonna plug this in and as you can see the light is on. I'm going to shut this down. Shut down my computer. <laughs> and you see the lights on right here. When it's shut down, it should power off. If you look, the LED light is on on the uh, my hard drive, external hard drive. And I could feel the power still running through it. This is the reason why um, I would um, have a power drain. About maybe a, a day or two later, I was uh, find that the battery on my computer is actually completely empty. And this is the reason why, because there is actually a uh, power going through the actual uh, the ports and whatnot. I had difficulty actually finding this information. It's not difficulty finding the information. It's um more of the BIOS like um, it, most of the HP they would say um, press F2 or F10 to get into the BIOS but um, really you can't do that um, for Windows 10 or um, the Windows operating system actually takes over and it's difficult to get into the BIOS that way I, I've tried a lot of the shortcut keys F2, F10, Shift F2 all that was was available when it didn't work this is not like the old uh, DOS days when you know you would see the F2 uh, shortcut key and it will say uh, press press it to get into the BIOS and the Windows um, operating system again this is one of the reasons why I don't like it so what you have to do is actually go to the reset uh, type reset over here which brings you to this uh, menu just go to restart now and then go to troubleshoot and then go to the advanced options and then uh, go to the uh, the firmware settings and then press restart now you get the different options to go to your BIOS so now you can press F10 for the BIOS setup and then you're gonna go to the events yeah events and then go to the port options and then if you look right here there's a leg uh, USB legacy uh, port charging you wanna actually disable that um, I think this was left on, especially with my uh, tablet PC, is uh, maybe to actually uh, charge the wireless keyboard while it's, uh, as you can see, it's kind of a tablet PC. So 
to actually charge it while it's uh, still off. Um, so that might have been the reason that this option is available, but um, you want to disable this. And then you want to save the changes. Yes. And then I'm going to just uh, shut this down. So you can see um, now when it's shut down, as you can see right here, the LED light it doesn't turn back on, and I could tell. Uh, by feel that the disk is actually not spinning on the hard drive so I left this out like this for a week after disabling the uh, the ports there was no uh, power drain on my laptop so you're gonna push the power button and then you're gonna release and hold the volume down button And that's it. Very simple. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to disable the fast boot so you can use your shortcut keys. Then I'm going to go to the BIOS setup. Then I'm going to go to the advanced. And then I'm going to go ahead to the boot options. And then I'm going to go down and disable fast boot. Then I'm going to go up top. And I'm going to change the startup delay to 5 seconds. Or you can actually increase it to 10 seconds or uh, however long you want. And then I'm going to go ahead, press ESC, and save changes now I'm going to push the power button and then push F2 when it starts loading up and then as you can see from right here it says uh, entering system diagnostics and let me just lower it so you can see it and then I'm gonna go ahead and exit and then are you sure yes so let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video um, if you found it confusing I know I know I was ragging on the Windows 10 operating system a lot but it has come a long way from the time of Windows Vista um, and I don't really think it was a Windows operating system that was preventing me from getting into the BIOS uh, because I did try it with the Linux and it was the same thing. Um, I'm thinking that it's more likely the firmware. Um, if anybody knows, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know. And um, if you like this video, go ahead and smash the like button. And subscribe. Thanks.